very hard to do. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Yo, what's up guys, I Divas here. I hope everyone is doing fine of you today. So we can finally go to the last element of my list, which will be the water dual blades. So this video will keep you hydrated over the way. Water dual blades do not belong to the player. Water dual blades are the player. You do have not to try to do combos. You just go with the flow when you use water dual blades. You let the dual blades lead you to the fight. Okay, before I continue my bullshit now, let's just get straight to the first build. Anyways, my voice instead of getting better, just got totally wrecked as you probably can hear but yeah so the first build today is gonna be the KJR Daggers Water 7 critical eye, 5 attack boost, 3 critical boost, 3 weakness exploit handicraft level 3 now you don't need to do it level 3 you can leave it on level 2 you can replace any other jewel you want there water attack level 2 to maximize the capacity of the element Latin power comes extra with the Kaiser Shed. I love using the Ostrich technique because you simply have more space for uh, skills and have also infinite sharpness. And of course, that crit element that comes with uh, weapons. Now, these dual blades have a total of 294 row damage, exactly the same damage as the Ura Hatches, the rarity 6. Quite a good white sharpness. If you have infinite sharpness, it won't go away. It just won't. And 45% affinity. Now this dual blades is a problem. You have only 90% affinity as total without the affinity augmentation. Don't waste affinity augmentation on a rarity 8 weapon. Just go with health regeneration. Because without health regeneration you just lose 100 times more DPS and a 270 water element so moving on to the second build probably my favorite water tool base yet in the game the totally shred Teostra that's what I always were using against Teostra they're even better than the ice empire so 7 critical eye 4 attack boost 4 handicraft for white sharpness 3 weakness exploit 3 latin power which comes with a kazako gamma Anyways, it's good for elders if you're fighting the Ostra, it's gonna kick in. Two water attack. Uh, as well, three piece the Ostra technique again for master touch, no sharpness loss. And two set bonus of rattle loss, so you get that crit element out. Now, on this, I really recommend you to go with a health regeneration and two affinity increase. The reason because of that is you will get the 50% base affinity with weakness exploit and 100% which means these dual blades will have infinite sharpness on weak spots. Now this is a second version of this build because some people don't have two attack jewels and the previous had the two attack jewels so you will lose 5% affinity and you can use this build with uh, instead of the Rattalos part the Azure Starlot which was uh, the part from the USG event all you will lose on this build is just the 3 latin power from the coil which is not that bad you don't lose anything at all and it's pretty much the same build so moving on to the stats it has again a 294 like the KJR uh, it says 304 because I had uh, attack augmentations because I used them really early in the game and I didn't know attack wasn't good I just changed it today with uh, switching my augmentations 50% affinity total 100% with weakness exploit 270 water element exactly the same as the KJR they're pretty much the same weapon with the KJR so yeah Moving on to the third and last build for today's video, now here we have no attack boost on the Tower of Daggers water, but these two blades are very strong, they're poor beauty. Now, Azure Starlord, if you don't have that coil, you should wait for the 25th of January, 
where the appreciation comes with all the events and everything so there is again all events available so you can get everything you're missing and the reason because I couldn't put the tag boost is because you would lose the Austro technique and white sharpness so I think this is thousand times better than playing without the Austro technique and 5% more affinity there is absolute no reason to do that and also you may miss release jewels on this one because you need three and they're they're not very rare but they're quite rare you can replace the handicraft charm with the awakening charm for two more release jewels and you will have pretty much again white sharpness but not as much but you will be probably better with the build off and there is a, also a free slot you can use whatever you want on this free slot so moving on straight to the stats 287 base attack full white sharpness 30% affinity with 80% now this is decent but you have a capacity of 350 water element this is crazy this is just like the Kirin Thunder you have again 350 Thunder this is the max capacity for dual blades what an element can have this is very strong elemental dual blades now I hope this build school help you because water element there is not a lot in the game but these ones are really good ones and I hope you all enjoyed the video, if so please be sure to leave a like and comment, also subscribe to my channel and turn notifications if you wanna see more amazing content of me. And I'm going back to back now and I wish everyone having a nice day, see ya.